Hi there, this is Vevzir. In this video, we are going to talk about relational operators. Simple words, they let you compare things with each other. The first operator that we discuss is greater than. Notice the example here that says 5 greater than 4. Now such expressions either return a true or a false and we both know which data type is capable of storing those values which happens to be a boolean in our case. So we can also have two separate variables like num1 and num2 and then compare if num1 is greater than num2 and that result can be stored. Similarly, we have a less than. We know that 5 less than 4 is going to give us a false and that's what happens inside the result variable. Similarly, we have something called greater than or equal to. Now 5 greater than or equal to 4 is true. 5 greater than equals to 5 also yields true. However, 5 greater than equals to 6 would be false, which I have not shown here. Now the same way we have less than or equal to where we can say 5 less than equals to 4, which happens to be false. But 5 less than equals to 5 is good because there is an equal to sign as well, right? The same way we have our equals to. Now this is one of the most confusing things for a beginner. The equals to that you see here on the left hand side is different from the one here. Now to compare if two numbers are equal, we use double equals to. So phi equals equals 4 is asking a question. It is asking is the number 5 a equals to 4? There is only one answer is either true or it is false and that result is stored inside the boolean variable called result. Now phi equals equals phi is going to be true. Same way we have the opposite of equals equals which would be not equals to. So phi not equals 4 is true, phi not equals phi would be false. Now let's take a look at the things that you should google at the end of this video which would be assignment versus equality operator in Java and also check out equals equals versus equals in Java. In the next video, I will use some of these operators in IntelliJ and make it more familiar for you guys. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.